Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. John Bishop here with John Bishop Fine Art. And this is Conversations for Freelance Creatives. Glad you joined me again. Well, before I get started today, I was just going to kind of say, we've been doing the vlog now for many, many weeks and I'm getting bored. And I thought, if I'm getting bored, maybe you're getting bored too. It's time for a change. Hi, I'm John and this is Bogdan. Join us on our journey as we figure out how to earn a living as artists, introduce you to those we meet, and share what we learn along the way. We really created a vlog that was more like a talking head that was just imparting information. And I enjoyed those. I, I think I worked hard on them. I'm not ashamed of them, but it was never really my intention to do just that kind of static, um, educational type videos. I wanted to do something more that kind of captures what the uh, what the life of an artist is like, what the life of these two artists, Bogdan and John, are like, and uh, maybe have more of those conversations in real time about what it's like to run an art business. So what I've uh, what we've been able to do now is is now that the restrictions are being lifted, I've had all my shots and most everybody I know has been vaccinated. Things are starting to open up again. People are having events. Uh, we're able to, to go out and travel more. So I thought we'd take you along with you, take you along with us. That was always the goal to begin with. So yeah, we drive in every morning from Huntsville, Texas to Houston, Texas, which is about 70 miles. It's a long commute. The reason we live so far away is because when we moved back from Russia, we moved to Huntsville. We were right across the street from mom and dad and because they needed help as they were getting older. Uh, now that they have both passed away, uh, living in Huntsville doesn't make a lot of sense anymore. So we haven't quite made that change yet because we love our house and we love where we live, but it is quite a commute. Uh, we really feel that we need to be in Houston to be a part of kind of the art community here and the art market here as well. We're at the studios here. Uh, this is Silver Street Studio. And there are actually six studios within a, an, an umbrella group called the Sawyer Yards. And there are six buildings with about 400 artists. So it's a lot, a lot of art to be, to be had. And so it's kind of a destination for people who are shopping for art. So it makes sense for us to be here not only from a marketing point of view, but you know, when you're around that many other artists, it's just so inspiring. There's a community here that we're able to tap into. There are services here that we're able to get to, people who have bigger printers than we do, and people who can frame, and people who can stretch canvases better than I. So it's great to be in, in that kind of community as well. Now, that also means that we are tapped into the art happenings around Houston. So we are getting to know people, we're getting recognized by people, and we're, we're starting to recognize people. We're being invited to events. We have an event this evening with AVM Hawkins, and she is doing a solo exhibition at the John Palmer uh, Studios. Uh, John Ross Palmer is a, a, a local artist internationally known who runs a, a program called the Escapist Program. And so AVM is part of that program. She's a graduate of them. And she is doing a, a solo exhibition this evening and we'll be joining her there. We'll take you along with as well. So really today, here at the studios, we're busy. We're going to be doing, uh, I'm still working on getting my Panca Marga series all set up. We met with the caterers yesterday and have some exciting things. We're even trying to create a, a signature drink for the event. So it's Panca Marga, and we're thinking of creating a Panca Margarita. That will be a coup. So I told her, whatever it costs, we need to make that happen. I got to have a Panca Margarita now. But, uh, so we're getting the studio all set up, uh, getting the exhibition all set up. Tomorrow we have open day, uh, our, we're open every third Saturday here in this building. And 
so we'll have people through tomorrow, so I'm trying to get the studio all set up for that. I also need to get out newsletters today because it's kind of mid-month and we need that around that time. And uh, what else? I'm, we just started a new exhibition here at Silver Street. It's called The Sum of Us. Uh, all the tenants are participating. It's a really, really good show and I think it, uh, it serves us well. The, I have now recently uh, volunteered to be in charge of the exhibition committee here at Silver Street and that will mean that I'll be much more involved in the organization and layout and curation of the future shows coming uh, in the fall and in the, in the winter. This show will be up all summer long. So it's great, having a great day, a lot to do, beautiful summer day, and uh, come along with us and we'll, we'll see how this day goes. Hey, just wanted to report how things are going. Uh, I got here to the studio, as you know, and started working, and my computer started doing crazy things. It would like always scroll to the bottom, the mouse wasn't responsive, it would just kind of do anything it wanted, it would exit the program for some reason. Uh, it was just absolutely creepy, and I thought maybe it was, you know, a foreign, in, a foreign power. So uh, we finally just had to give up and, and, and take the computer in on a Friday at lunch to the micro center to, uh, through the crowds and the heat, we finally got in, we've got in line, we got there for the service guy, and uh, no, computer didn't do it anymore, it was perfectly fine. We could not recreate what it was doing. So after, you know, two hours in traffic and sun, uh, got back to the studio, plugged the computer in, doing exactly the same thing it was before. So we've narrowed it down to either gremlins or demons. Uh, and I don't quite know what to do next. Bogdan's trying to look at how he might can reformat something. I don't know what's going on. The point is it doesn't work, and uh, that shouldn't be a huge problem for tomorrow being open because uh, my Square uh, reader still works, so I should be able to take payments, but I won't be able to do any record keeping or any emails or catch up on, on uh, on anything to do with the exhibition. I'm just kind of stranded in the water. So it looks like I'll be cleaning up and uh, hanging out here in the studio. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll paint something. Wouldn't that be a novel idea? Anyway, hope your day's going better than mine. Okay, well, we finished the day. Uh, I think my computer's fixed, thanks to Bogdan. I don't know quite what was wrong, but... Um, about to see the bank accounts very soon. Yeah, we we'll understand better. We're afraid maybe I got hacked. I, I don't quite know. Uh, it, it's really strange. So we're now going to AVM's show. Uh, she has a, um, a lovely exhibition called Alchemy, and uh, we're going to go and see her VIP event. Uh, and actually, we uh... we're really going for the catering because her husband Mark is a lovely caterer and uh, has amazing food, so. We're also going for our art careers, but the food's there too. Well, um, and we have been uh, working extensively for the last day and a half for her yeah. to create some sort of marketing materials because she, you know, an artist, uh, find out at the very last minute that there is a component missing. Okay, guys, catch you up soon. See ya, we're going to a party. Yay, bye. Well, good morning, everybody. It's day two. We're heading to the studios 
Uh, today is Saturday. We're open on the first Saturday in our studio, the second Saturday in all the studios, and the third Saturday just in our building. So pretty much if it's a Saturday, we go in. And uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, we spend a good deal of time in the car traveling. Again, it's 70 miles one way. And guess whose job is to clean the car? Yes, Bogdan got up early this morning, went out and did a jog. He cleaned the car, he watered the grass. And, um, you know, our poor cat is just so lonely. What We've been working. What an exciting life we have. We are, we are just jet setters, you know? It's all glamour where we live. But so, it's a beautiful um, house and we love it. I like to always give locations. We are in Houston. Actually, we live in Huntsville, which is an hour uh, away from Houston, right? North. Yeah. We are now on I-45, driving south to Houston. Yep, and uh, we're going through, we have to go through several little towns to get to Houston, and uh, some not so little, but it's a lovely drive. Unfortunately, we do it every single day. Uh, uh, the speed limit in this section is 75. No one, I mean, no one goes below 90. Yeah, that's a Texas thing, you know, you don't, you don't go slow if you can go fast. Uh, but we have huge, huge distances to cover as well. I mean, when you look at it, Texas is the size of Spain. Uh, so it, it's, it's, it's nothing for us to really drive a lot. Uh, and we should go fast. And basically, we what we're doing every day is we live, we're driving from uh, Barcelona to Madrid. Exactly. We're basically going, I don't know how far we're going, but it's a long way. Uh, but yeah, so we are going, we'll be at the studio all day uh, this evening. Well, last night we went to the party, as you know, and uh, it was a lovely event. She probably had, oh, 30, 40 people there, I think. Uh, lovely uh, catering from her husband, Mark. And the we were able to show the movie that Bogdan did for her exhibition. So it was a great event last night. Tonight, we also have an event. Vicki has a show at Silver Street in the same space that I'll have next month. She has a show all month, and her reception is this evening, so we'll stick around for that. Um, just party after party, what can I say? It's a, it's a glamorous life we lead. My hair is not good. Your hair is fine. <laughs> I have no hair. I got my first after COVID haircut, and they went to town. Yeah, but I cut his hair. He cut my hair. Month the best haircut he ever had. For a year and a half, this was my barber. And this and, is the worst you got. And all the birds in the neighborhood have my hair in their nest. Yeah, yeah. Because it was just all over the porch. Anyway, so we're off to the studio. We'll have a great day. It's a lovely summer day here in, in uh, the Houston area. And we'll catch up with you when we get to the studio. Bye. In the studio now, we're in the open day. We've got people roaming around. It's still kind of quiet. Hopefully we'll get more through. But that doesn't mean I'm not working because I've got all kinds of things I can still be doing. Right now I'm entering stuff into Artwork Archive where we put all of the work that both Don and I do, all of the details about it, all of the uh, edition work. Uh, if, if you've got more than one edition, copies in an edition, uh, any kind of sales that you do, all of that has to be entered and incorporated so that you've got your provenance for the for the art that you're creating. Uh, they don't. This isn't a commercial. They don't pay me, though I would be open to that. But I've been doing that pretty much all day. I still have to do our newsletters. So even though we we're not crawling with people, that's okay because I still have a lot of work I can be doing. Um, but hopefully, we'll be crawling with people. Well, I'm here to tell you, we were not crawling with people. It was a good day, though. 
We had people wander through all day long and people who seemed to be interested in art and were having those conversations that, that always make you feel like they're, they're actually interested. And even if they're not going to buy today, maybe they'll be back and maybe they'll become permanent collectors. It was a good day. I got a lot of work done. I worked on the newsletters. I worked on Artwork Archive, on Lightroom, on Photoshop. I got a lot of things done. But as far as sales, wait for it, zero. Not a single sale. Can't really complain though. I sold 12 paintings this last week, which was phenomenal. But this was more about meeting people and, and just being open to people wandering through. So I'm not unhappy. The reception was lovely. Uh, Vicki had her show, nice crowd, good eats, and it was a re really nice way to kind of unwind at the end of the day. Plus, her artwork is just stunning. So it was a lovely, lovely evening. I had a great honor last week. I was asked to participate in a literary conference that was being held online via Zoom. This is a group called the Elite Club KSA, and they have a component of their club that is, is literary based, and that is called the Elite Literature Society. And this group works out of Saudi Arabia, but they're really for a Pakistani audience, and I believe they're, they're really there to enhance cultural activities and for expat uh, Pakistanis who are living in Saudi Arabia as well as in, in Pakistan. So I was asked to be a presenter in this literary festival that they have every year. And it was lovely. I was uh, asked to speak specifically on poetry as I also write children's books and some include some uh, poetic components. And of course I used to teach poetry when I taught high school. So I have a real affinity for poetry and, and creative writing. So I was asked to participate and I gave a presentation and it was covered by the news. Uh, so, you know, we hit the big time. I've been on the news. Elite Literature Society Saudi Arab ki janib se 10 se 12 June 2021 Tinoza online adabi mela munakkad kiya gaya maine shirkat ki Saudi Arab se Rizwan Ahmed aur Naeem Javed Pakistan se maroof So anyway I want to thank them very very much for this great honor and hopefully I'll be asked again it was really really a rewarding experience for me Well I hope you like the new format for the for the vlog uh, if you do, like and subscribe. It really, really helps my channel if you do. And uh, other than that, I'm just going to stop and relax for the first time all week. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.